Hey guys, thought I'd shoot a quick video here of uh, my uh, PJ, it's a PJ 6x12 uh, dump trailer, get out of the sun. Um, and I pulled my half ton truck here, and it's it's a good size trailer, it works good for a half ton truck. You get, um, you know, most, this is what they consider like a medium duty or light duty dump trailer, I guess. Um, you know, if you get up to the 6x14, or, or like a 7x14, 7x16 is huge trailer. Those things get so big and uh, so big and heavy. But uh, this 6x12 is a, is a, I think, about a perfect size for a half ton. Pulls easy. I think the trailer is about 3,000 pounds empty. And I've hauled, I don't know how many loads of rock and gravel with this thing over the years. That's a little bit of a load. So I got three tons of gravel on here. So between the gravel, trailer, spare tire, and side rails on here. I'm guessing I'm probably about a 9,500 pound load. And it's a 9,900 pound trailer, 10,000 pound trailer. So it's about perfect. You can see we got a bunch of rain last night and you get all the silt that washes down my driveway. All the, all the gravel finds. This turns into a mucky mess here. We got a bunch of rain last night though. But uh, anyway, this is mostly gonna be for a landscaping project. Oh. I've got a, I've got this solar panel. Uh, it's a solar pulse charger. I used to have problems with the battery staying up on this thing, and I, you know, it's not top of your mind to charge your dump trailer all, trailer all the time. But ever since I added this little solar panel, it just comes out the slot, and it's got I I uh, I put magnets on the back. I just took 3M tape, put magnets on the back. It sits right there in the toolbox. And with that thing on there, this thing is pretty much never dead. I don't know that I've actually actually had to put it on a charger since I since I got that on there. But anyway, came with a tarp kit. I do a lot of clean outs of houses, haul a lot of junk, so that tarp kit is kind of mandatory. But we'll dump this six tons here real quick. got this thing tied off real short One thing when you're dumping a heavy load like this, I always set my parking brake in my truck. Uh, if you don't, it'll, it'll rock around and I think that plays hell on the transmission. So always set your parking brake for the heavy load. Just about there. I'm not sure how many degrees this thing dumps to, but it's a pretty steep dump angle, so it works pretty good. Uh, rock's not really much of an issue when I pull off. This will just roll right out of here, but especially for dumping trash, uh, it works good at a steep dump angle. And this rock's all wet because it's been raining, so it's actually a little, probably stickier than it normally would be. I don't know if I can get you set up here or not, but I will try.
It always amazes me. Three tons of gravel sounds like a lot, but when you get it on the ground, it's actually not that big of a pile. But so there you go. I'm gonna. I really got this for Lance for uh, building a retaining wall for the base layer, but honestly, I mean, I'm just spreading it out here. So I got such a swampy mess here, and go get another load for the retaining wall project. But anyway. I love that PJ trailer. I used to do a lot of stuff, it's just a little flatbed trailer by hand. I've actually shoveled a lot of gravel off a flatbed trailer and this thing is just, it's a back saver, so. All right, see ya.